Okay, um, matplotlib. So matplotlib is a package of a lot of functions to allow you to uh, produce very fancy and uh, good looking figures. Um, if you go to matplotlib.org, uh, you're going to find all the installation guides. Well, the counter has installed that for you, but you can find the, the, the documentation. Okay, if you get the documentation, and uh, you will go to the installation guide tutorial and a bunch of other things like the API and the developer's guide because the tutorial is going to show you how to how to generate different kinds of uh, plots uh, using this package for example how to how to use a plot to generate things like this and subplot image okay and uh, how to generate a histogram path uh, three-dimensional plotting, uh, scene plots, and uh, ellipses, bar chart, pie charts, tables, and scatter plot. We will show this and uh, GUI graphic user interface uh, widget and uh, field field curves, uh, date handling, a lot of other things. Okay, you can see a lot of other things. And uh, here we go. So this is a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, I am not going through every one of them because they are written here. So we can basically just follow this and um, and uh, and finish everything. Um, I'm thinking about like making this a assignment, but I don't want you to have uh, to to give you too much burden because I know that you have uh, you have a lot of. Um, so I'll, I'll guide you through some very simple plots of Python, of, of matplotlib. Um, to use matplotlib, you first need to uh, import it because otherwise, uh, for example, otherwise if you use uh, matplotlib, you don't have it, uh, you, you will encounter error. First I create a, uh, well I haven't, because I opened a new console, I haven't imported NumPy yet. So what is x? x is, uh, uh, is a range of 50 numbers, uh, 15 numbers, and uh, I calculate the sign of x, and what is y? y is this. So you can see if you uh, regard x as a um, horizontal axis and uh, y is a vertical axis, so the pair of x and y will become a coordinates. Um, I want to use uh, matplotlib. First, I need to import matplotlib, matplotlib as mpl. This is, uh, this is a convention we, we always put that as mpl. Um, okay. let, let me first do this. And you can generate this graph. Sometimes you wanna, you see that it doesn't have an index here. Okay, you have the horizontal axis, vertical axis. If you wanna enter the label, remember that you have to put them, you have to enter them the same time. You do not, uh, if you just enter this and produce this figure, then enter the index, it doesn't, uh, it, it will not work. For example, horizontal axis, X. It's going to show the horizontal axis x here. Okay, um, so this is uh, this is to uh, picture x and y. What if we want to picture the two curves in the same graph? What do we do? Um, that's uh, uh, If you want to have the second one, you should uh, again. If you want to put the label there, you should uh, you should uh, enter the label at the same time. Okay, and you get this. Uh, what if I want to create something else? Yes, you can. Um, see if you. By the way, uh, if you just get this, you will see. 
this figure. And if you enter the X and Y, you will see this figure. Are they the same? No, they're not the same. They're not the same because if you take a very closer look at the the horizontal axis, you find the horizontal axis is different because X and Y, they are defined differently. I mean, X and X2, they're defined differently. X is defined as uh, 2 uh, times 2 times pi. This is pi. Pi is uh, that circle, that pi. And uh, x2 is just times pi without without uh, multiplying 2 first. Okay, I can also generate 3 as okay, generate 3 and I can generate Let me just to do whatever thing I want to do, okay? And I want to put them together. See? Huh? Mm. Hmm. Oh, I guess they uh, connect to each other. Um, Then now you have three. Uh, one, two, three. Because the other the other one they, they, they overlap with each other. So you only see uh, two lines. Actually you see this from here to here. And this should be from maybe from somewhere to here. Okay, so you can see three curves. Uh, you can also add some um, parameter here to make it show X in a more different way. Um, see if I if I just to show this X and I I just see this. And if I do this, I show the uh, the, the the graph a little bit differently because R represents red and this is dot dash and this is triangles. Okay, if I want to change this to blue, I guess I should change this to B. Yeah. And uh, um, I think this is the same X, but uh, in case I'm getting things wrong, let me just. I will generate two graphs, and this must be a, a circle, and this is triangle, and this is red, this is blue. So the Y1 will be generated as a blue circle, and the Y2 will be generated as a red triangle. Yes. Uh, you can also generate the scatter plots. So X is still the same X, Y is still the same Y. And uh, let's generate the scatter plots. Scatter plot is not the plot the, the curve anymore. So you can see that they are they are not connected. Okay, this is a scatter plot. Um, you can also generate the other scatter plot. For example, I just generate some random numbers of X. And some random numbers of y. Okay, some random numbers of x, some number random number of y. And what if I just generate this scatter plot? You will find that it looks like this. What if I want to add some size and color to it? Let's just add some uh, random size and random color. 
random size for the dots and random color for the dots. Remember that the, the color here is digitized. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's represented by the numbers. So different numbers uh, represent different color. And uh, I will have to add size color. And you see that, of course, they are not exactly the same because they are the random numbers. If you want to add the color bar, you should not, if you just add, do this, and what, what do you have? You will have error because it doesn't know what, uh, what, what you want to, where you want to add the color bar. You have to produce this the same time as you uh, enter the color bar. Uh, remember that if you want to put two, you already, we don't have a semicolon for for uh, for Python commands, uh, but if you want to put two lines, two uh, two statements into the same line, you really need uh, uh, a semicolon to to indicate that they are actually together. Okay, you want to execute them at the same time. Okay. And uh, bar plots. Okay, this is uh, so you want to identify the width with uh, x1 minus x2, and you can get this uh, because my x is different from the x that uh, this is using. So that's why you see a different color bar. Um, the the no, I use a different pop plots. But for all the other plots that you want to use, uh, you really need to. You should pause this video and uh, take a look at uh, this, and uh, so that the, uh, you, can, you can generate very complex figures uh, using the using the, the tutorial in the Matplotlib website. Okay, uh, you see that they have different kinds of uh, uh, codes for different for different figures. So when you want to use them, you don't have to. Actually, you don't have to figure. Them out by yourself. You can just check the website and uh, copy the codes and make some modification. This is actually what what a lot of uh, coders and companies are doing. They're not they're not um, uh, they're not writing all the codes from nothing. They're actually using they're also using the the, the codes that the other people have written and modified them. So this is a this is a very common practice. Okay. Let me also talk a little bit about uh, SciPy. Uh, we're not getting into a SciPy, but be because of the time limit of this course, if I want to, if I need to uh, practice every command and that every commonly used packages have, then probably I uh, we we will have to triple or even uh, multiply the the the, the, the course lectures by five or even more so given the time limit I leave this part to you uh, and uh, for you to explore the site by yourself uh, this is documentation here uh, this is documentation uh, if you it also has a numpy ipython uh, the, the map probably it also have pandas but pandas is very important so I leave more time for pandas I will have the following uh, 100 more than 100 slides for pandas but for SciPy, because uh, it's just a bunch of algorithm, I think that you are, you are, you are very capable of uh, doing them by yourself. For example, special functions, you can click this and you can find out all of these functions and how to uh, use these functions to generate. You see, like sci from SciPy, uh, you are also using NumPy. This is a foundation after you learn NumPy and Matplotlib. Well, I think it's. MPL, but I'm not sure like whether they want why they want to use a PLT. This is but this is also another commonly used way to to uh, to represent MPL. And uh, you can you can try to do this and uh, generate the. Wait, let me see if I can do this by myself. Yes, uh, actually, it's, it's it's not difficult. For example, you can basically copy it. Uh, yeah, you don't have to. Comment it, and uh, you let me.
Okay. It's important if I've never used. Anyway, let me uh, let me just run it. Uh, first thing to yeah, I ran it. So if you click run, basically you're 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 running all of these codes uh, line by line, and it's going to generate this graph. And uh, to understand what what it's doing, you have to figure out like you know, what would be each line. So how how do you figure that? You can you can first, for example, um, well, this is five uh, J. Okay, I think it's fine. And you can just print out theta and see what it is. And you can check the radius and see see what it is. And you can also check this. And you can check what x, y, and z what they are, and um, just figure out like the process of generating these parameters and how eventually like the three D are uh, are are generated. Okay, three D figure how they how it's generated. Uh, yeah, yeah. For SciPy, um, you you just uh, check the documentation. Google SciPy documentation, and uh, you will find uh, all the tutorials that you need. Also, I very much, <coughs> very much, you see, like this is all the reference guide and user guide for NumPy and SciPy. Um, I very much recommend you to finish all the W3 W3 resource. So W3 resource. So you have all of the all, all of the practices that you need, and uh, where is SciPy? This is a conditional statement. So why look for them? Okay. Mm. Sorry, it looks like it doesn't have it. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just uh, yeah. Maybe you just check the 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 SciPy documentation and use whatever you want to use. And uh, don't forget to use a Stack Overflow. Uh, if you Stack 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 Overflow. And you can check whatever questions you want to have. For example, uh, how do I just um, they calculate count the number of unique values in the list, and you will find out the Stack Overflow's different uh, codes. And these are some people's questions. And uh, these are the uh, different ways, different solutions. Okay, and sets. Okay, this is the one that I often used. Okay, uh, so this is SciPy, and uh, so just uh, check the web link. In the next video, we will start talking about the panda uh, data frame and the pandas. Okay, now we stop here.